Muse, yes. Yesterday when uh, you got the news about uh, about the unfortunate demise of your son, what were some of the details that they told you that led to uh, the death? And how has the family, you know, received this? Are you certain about uh, the report that they gave you? And what does the Port Mutan uh, uh, result say? Uh, when we met the RDC, the DPC, the DSO and uh, Deputy DSO, when they came, they told me the RDC was here in the, in the city, uh, but the DPC uh, and uh, Deputy DSO are the one who they had arranged, according to them, that they arranged to, to go and uh, gather the animals. But I think they took long to agree on the time. I think they now left late and they went. So when they went, they said they gathered the animals. There were 300 in number. But uh, according to them, they said it was too many for the few soldiers who were there. So they said they should now come and pick some of the soldiers from the detach. They are detached along, along the way. So then when they are coming, at first, according to the deputy DSO, that uh, the late Samuel was to remain behind. But he said, staying there in the cold is not good. So he prepared to travel with them. So when they, 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 they travel with them, that is their side of the story. They traveled with them up to where they were supposed to get the, the, the additional soldiers. And then uh, on the way, the, the unfortunate incident happened that, that the, the, one of the soldiers had a gun with, uh, I think, with a bullet in the samba. So as they were moving, the bullet was released. I don't know how it was released. They did not tell me how it was released. And then they hit the, the car from behind. And then I moved through to the body of the, the disease. And that is what caused the death. Uh, when we went to the hospital, as I said, I saw the, 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 the wounds, hmm? I saw the wound, but <laughs> according to them, the, according to what we witnessed, the wound, the wound did not come through, huh? it was, there was a wound at the back, huh? but it, it did not come through. Uh, there, there was no uh, rupture in the exit in the stomach. Mm. Mm. So did they remove the bullet from uh, up until the postmortem? They, they did not get the, the, the bullet, the report of the, of the doctor. They said they did not get the, the bullet. And, uh, he, he, he think the bullet maybe it came out from where it entered. That is uh, according to his report. So the bullet was not found. Does this satisfy you? This kind of report that was given to you about uh, the circumstances that uh, that is the family satisfied with this, or you need more explanation in details from? Actually, the family is demanding for more explanation because. The, the bullet was not seen, so they, they, they want more explanation. So from which people exactly do you want this explanation from? Uh, now we want from from a more local government. Because uh, to the best of our knowledge, uh, the deceased, their employee, and I don't know whether he was given instruction to work because the information we got is that the incident happened late in the night. 
late in the night, around two, around two, I think two, two a.m. Eh? Uh, around two a.m. in the night. So we would want an explanation from the moral people that or really what, what happened. Apart from just uh, the explanation, would you also demand compensation for uh, the life lost on duty? Oh yeah, I think that the law, the law permits that. Because if he had gone on official duty, the law, I think the law permits that. There's a workman compensation. I think the law, the law is is there about that one. I think the law is that about that one. I've, I've, I've left uh, the work uh, maybe about 10 years ago, but I think uh, that law is still, still work. That is, uh, they will educate us how to go about it. Mm. Yeah. Because if they, if they, they say, the, the RPC was saying that this was purely accident. But if it is, even if it is purely accident, then uh, he had gone to work for government. There, is, there should be a, a workman, that law, workman compensation uh, uh, implemented. So, oh, would you mind taking us through the life of uh, the deceased? How would you remember him? How would you describe his life when he was still uh, alive? Uh, he's, a, he's a very calm boy. Very calm boy. But he is also he is also very strict. Actually, the father has stated almost everything he should have said. I am not happy with a more local government. I send my child, the one I loved so much, very healthy. He had never fallen sick. I had not stayed with him in the hospital. That is what God has blessed me with. I did not suffer with him. I had all my him. I don't know how I'm going to survive. Hmm? I don't know. I don't know. I'm totally depressed. And I don't know how I'm going to manage this. If a more could come and explain clearly for me, because I am a civil servant, we don't work at night. Why? My child works at night. That one is beating my understanding. I need clear explanation. If I'm so to survive, it is hard for me, very, very difficult. Being the second and the eldest boy in the farm, he was the breadwinner of the home. So from where I'm going to start, I need to be help. Amur should really help me. Tell me the truth. I'm really looking for the truth about the death of my child. You see, educating somebody to the level of a doctor is not easy. It's not easy. Have you stolen my resources? Hmm? I could borrow loans here and there to make ends meet, to pay him, because I wanted him to attend the best school, if at all, in the country. And I tried. I'm just a primary school teacher.